Now this is a story all about how I made a YouTube video that no one will watch but me. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Justin with the Millennial Mixtape, and today we have episode two of Best Theme Song Ever. Woo! Today we're taking a look at probably one of the greatest TV shows ever, right? Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. So we're going to take a little dive into the synopsis of the show. What's the show about? You probably know by now. We're also going to take a look at the history of the song. We're also going to rate it on my four item scale, which I'll discuss in a second. And yeah, um, shout out to the eighth grade mustache that I grew for this video. My wife hates it. So as soon as this is done, it's gone. Anyway, we're coming back right after this. All right, so the sunglasses are gone. The mustache isn't yet, <laughs> but here we go. So let's talk about the show very quickly. You've probably watched it. I mean, it was mega successful. It's majorly popular. Um, so we have The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, which premiered on NBC on September 10th, 1990. So let's take a look at the synopsis for the show. Here's what Wikipedia says. The theme song and opening sequence set the premise of the show. That works out for us. That's good. Will Smith is a street smart teenager, West Philadelphia, born and raised. While playing street basketball, Will misses a shot and the ball hits a group of gang members, causing a confrontation that frightens his mother, who sends him to live with his wealthy aunt and uncle in the opulent neighborhood of Bel Air, Los Angeles. Will's working class background ends up clashing in various humorous ways with the upper class world of the Banks family, Will's Uncle Phil and Aunt Vivian, and their children, Will's cousins, Spoiled Hillary, Entitled Carlton, and Impressionable Ashley. The premise is loosely based on the real life story of the show's producer, Benny Medina. Now, I didn't know that last part. That's actually kind of cool. So it's based on the, loosely based on the real life story of the producer of the show. Now, let's talk about my four scale rating system. What we have to grade the show, remember we're looking for the best theme song ever. So we have earworm Venus or the ability of the song to be an earworm. How catchy is it, right? Is it something that you will be singing for days afterward or years afterward? Let's remember Fresh Prince premiered a long time ago, <laughs> 1990s, so that's what, 30 years ago. So it's been on, it's been off the air for a while, but it premiered a long time ago. And we still, I bet if I went, dum, 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 now this is, I bet you just continue on, right? So earworthiness, I think that one's going to be a four, but we'll wait and see. We also have the intentionality of lyrics. So how deliberately do the lyrics of the song set up the premise of the show? And as we just read from the Wikipedia, we know that the premise of the show is staged by the theme song. And I have a really interesting story on that that I'll get to in a moment from actually DJ Jazzy Jeff. He goes through the history of where the theme song came from. So we'll talk about that in a second too. Next up, we have the title sequence. Now this is, I mean, come on, like there's no way you don't enjoy the title sequence. Uh, so what we're looking for is, does the title sequence pair well with the lyrics of the theme song, which I'm pretty sure we're gonna be another slam dunk there too. And lastly, timeliness of the song. How well does the song compare to songs that were on the radio at the time? So if we look at Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, when it was written, when the show came out, when it was first aired, again, September 10th, 1990, how well does it reflect the music of the time? So that's what we're gonna look at next. So Let's go ahead and get into item one, the earworminess of the song. All right, so arguably this is one of the most earworm kind of theme songs you'll ever hear, right? Um, so it made it to the Netherlands top 10 charts back in 1992. So I, just off the top of my head, can think of no other theme songs that have made it to the top 10 charts. Um, like, I just, I can't. And if you can, let me know in the comments, but I, off the top of my head, no, I can't think of any other songs that have made it to any top 10 charts. Um, but from what Jazzy Jeff said, it took them 15 minutes to write the song. Uh, they were on tour in 1990. Will said he had to hop on a plane and go to Los Angeles. They were pitching him a show. He came back uh, 24 hours later and he had the show. And they had, they had laid out the premise and he just sat down and wrote it. DJ Jazzy Jeff programmed the beats and in 15 minutes they had the lyrics and they were golden. Like, 
that's an insane level of talent <laughs> to write something like this that quickly. But in, you know, in fairness, DJ Jazzy Jeff says that Will has said the hardest part of writing a song is coming up with the premise. And he was given the premise. So he just had to write the story around it. So um, for that reason, I mean, yes, they're still incredibly talented. I'm not dismissing what they were capable of doing. Um, but yeah, so for earworm Venus, again, if I started singing this thing, as off-key as I am and as tone-deaf as I am, you're probably going to sing the rest of it, right? In West Philadelphia, born and raised. Sorry about that, but there you go. So for earworthiness, we're going to have to give this thing a four out of four. Solid. All right, and now our next criteria, let's talk about intentionality of lyrics. It's not unusual to be <laughs> How well do the lyrics of the theme song set up or establish the premise of the show? Now, as I just said, Will was given the premise of the show. He wrote the song to the premise, and then that became the theme song. So there's no way around it. I mean, this connects, A connects to B connects to C. Like, this is pitch perfect. Like, there's no way that the theme song wouldn't tell you what the show's about. So for intentionality of lyrics, I'm going to have to give it a four out of four again. Or two for two, four out of four. Up next is the title sequence. There's no way! Now, one thing that the title sequence does establish as well is that this is a comedy. Gold, right? It's funny from the beginning to the end. It's with this fish out of water story where at the beginning we're presented with Will playing basketball on the streets of West Philadelphia, gets into some trouble, gets in a cab. When it came near the license plate, said fresh head dice in the mirror. Goes to Bel Air and then uh, begins the rest of his life living uh, in Bel Air, Los Angeles with his aunt and uncle. So the title sequence lays that out perfectly. It's perfectly matched and synced with the lyrics of the song. You get a great sense of what you're in for, uh, except for the sad moments when, uh, was it, Will got shot and when Will's dad comes back into town and then disappears. Man. Those were hard episodes, um, but we're not talking about those. The title sequence does a fantastic job of relaying the information that's presented in the theme song. So again, we're going to have to give it a four out of four. We're three for three now. That's amazing. All right. And the last criteria is the timeliness of the song or how well does the song match up with what was on the radio? What was the top of the charts when the show premiered? So again, the show premiered September 10th, 1990. Uh, the week of September 8th, the number one song on the, <laughs> on the Billboard Hot 100 was Blaze of Glory by John Bon Jovi. Now, when I was doing a little bit of research and tracking, I, I haven't done enough to verify this, but it looks like through that, that entire year, there's no hip hop or rap. We have one song called She Ain't Worth It um, with Glenn Medeiros featuring Bobby Brown, but Bobby Brown I think is more of an R&B singer, not really a rapper. And then we also have Opposites Attract by Paula Abdul and The Wild Pair. We have that little rap break there with the cat. But outside of that, there's really no hip hop on the radio. Um, and so this is, this is me going out on a limb. It's possible that for some viewers, the theme song to The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was their first taste of hip hop and rap. I think that's incredibly plausible. Um, I have no evidence to back that up, but I, I would argue that that's the case. And so because of that, the timeliness of the song, I mean, this doesn't reflect really at all what was at the top of the charts or really playing on the radio, except for what could be you know, kind of considered uh, subversive radio stations or radio stations that were already playing hip hop and, and played to the crowd that, that was um, already listening to it. As far as the timeliness of the song, it doesn't really match up at all, but it was kind of the horse that led what was to come through the lens of, of hip hop. I mean, again, I, I have not done enough research into this to, to prove it, but I think that that's a pretty fair assumption. I don't know. So for timeliness, I think that the song is timeless. Again, it premiered 30 years ago. If I sang it, you would start singing it right now, right? Uh, so for timeliness, I'm going to have to give it a four out of four. So we are now four for four on our criteria of four out of four. So with all of that said, all of that given, that gives us a perfect 100%. So 
episode two, we already have a theme song that made a 100%. That is incredible. Go Fresh Prince, right? And Jazzy Jeff. We can't leave him out of here. But yeah, Fresh Prince and Jazzy Jeff, you guys uh, knocked it out of the park. And it perfectly matches the show. It's a timeless song. We're still singing it today, 30 years later. It's perfect. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air theme song is perfect. All right, so with that, I'm going to have to wrap up episode two and go shave this eighth grade mustache off my face so my wife will talk to me again. Um, but I want to know what show you want me to do next. Go ahead and tell me in the comments. Um, I reply to all of them. And uh, I've got some other ones lined up. Um, they'll be coming. There's a new one of these every week. So if you like today's video, be sure and hit the like button. If you loved today's video, hit the subscribe button and the bell gizmo so you're notified of every new episode of Best Theme Song Ever that I put out. And there's a video over here you might be interested in. Go ahead and give that a click. And until next time, I see you. Stay safe, stay well.